I grew up most of my childhood in West Texas, uh, in the Plainview area. Lubbock was always kind of like the big city. I, I was so familiar with tech, it almost seemed like home. Richard Gaynor is a 1971 graduate of Texas Tech, earning his biology degree with honors. I thought the quality of the instruction was, was great. and I think you're only as good as the people you're around, and the bar was pretty high. He went on to receive his MD from UT Southwestern Medical School, followed by an internship and residency in internal medicine at Parkland Hospital in Dallas, before completing a fellowship in hematology, oncology at UCLA Medical School, where he also went on to spend a decade as a faculty member. In 1991, he returned to UT Southwestern as the Chief of Molecular Virology and was later promoted to the positions of Professor of Medicine and Microbiology and later Chief of the Division of Hematology Oncology. One thing I enjoyed back when I was both at UCLA and Dallas was the ability to take care of people but also uh, try to impact uh, knowledge base and things. So it was uh, a combination uh, of those two things. Next came the appointment as director of the Simmons Cancer Center, where he coordinated the cancer research and clinical programs at UT Southwestern. In 2002, he accepted a role as Vice President of Cancer Research and Clinical Development at Eli Lilly and Company in Indianapolis, and later advanced to the role of Senior Vice President of Oncology Clinical and Product Development, where he led teams that developed drugs for various cancers. And I always ask whenever I've done anything, if I never came into this world, would these things have happened? And the answer is maybe, but not as fast and maybe not as well. He retired from Eli Lilly in 2016 and became the president of research and development at the Boston-based company of Neon, which focused on developing new therapies for cancer based on novel immunotherapy approaches. Neon was acquired by BioNTech in 2020, where he's currently president and chief of research and development. His group has continued its focus on cancer research in addition to pursuing novel vaccine approaches for COVID-19 and other infectious diseases. So I almost consider it a, a positive sign when someone says a drug won't work because I'm like, okay, now we're going to figure it out. It is with great honor that we introduce 2022 Distinguished Alumnus Richard Gaynor.